as of lately, we have been getting a ton of responses and feedback from you guys, the Clash Royale community, telling me that this Electro Giant thing is pretty annoying, or at least giving a lot of people issues, and if not, I mean, if you don't have a direct counter to this bad boy, you are absolutely screwed, and to some extent, that is completely true, and I 100% agree. If you have a deck that doesn't have a great answer or response to the Electro Giant, it can be so unfair, and you'll have a terrible time trying to take this thing down. So that is exactly why in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys not one, but two decks that completely counter Electro Giant. Pretty much every variation, you'll be able to absolutely destroy Electro Giant like myself here and have a great time. So, without further ado, if you want to support the channel, guys, obviously make sure to subscribe if you're new here. If you want to see more Clash Royale content, that is the best way to stay tuned, just to make sure you don't miss any more future videos. And I really want to say thank you for all the support on yesterday's short. I'll put a picture of it right here, but it is a super funny video. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. I really like it, and I'm glad you guys um, are enjoying it as much as I do. So, it really means a lot. Anyways, guys, game number one, deck number one. As you can see, it is an anti-Electro Giant deck. Now, not only do you have some great answers to the Electro Giant, including the Elite Barbarians, the Skeleton Army, Electro Spirit combo, which a lot of people don't know about, the Dark Prince of Mega Man, those are two pretty heavy hitters. And then you also have a lot of options here with the Royal Giant, Elite Barbs, and um, Fireball, obviously, to get a lot of tower damage easily. So, it's a very strong deck all around. It is really awesome, and a lot of people would just look at this and be like, what the heck? They're just going to lighten your E-Bobs, and that might be true. But, a lot of people cannot break through when the E-Bobs are putting in work, when you're bar barreling the bomber behind the Electro Giant, stuff like that. It's going to be absolutely fine and all good. I'll show you guys a quick replay to start the video off, and make sure not to go anyways, because this replay, it's a bang. We're hopping into replay number one as you can see i say good luck we don't know this guy's deck right now but we do know something we're sniffing something toxic brewing in the air as you know he you can see the electro giant right there dude so i go electro spirit first play obviously i wouldn't recommend it but we were kind of just sending it um the reason why i wouldn't recommend it all the time obviously is because you can give them free king's activation if played correctly by the opponent so be careful obviously if you're gonna do that but right now he goes with a bomber and immediately i'm like hmm this is looking like either royal giant electro giant i knew it was gonna be one or the other then we see the mother witch and the Dark Prince here in a second once he goes with the Dark Prince in the left lane. Now, we do Fireball's Mother Witch. That's some awesome value. Once you see the Dark Prince, I mean, you can normally assume that it's going to be an Electro Giant deck. But there are some RG variations that do get a little crazy. So, definitely make sure to pay attention. Obviously, the Dark Prince coming in, we just we were able to deal with it here with just a one unit, uh, one elixir one elixir spirit, the electro spirit, in fact. And now we go with some Elite Bob split. This is actually pretty unlucky because I wanted to save my Elite Barbarians, obviously, for his Electro Giant, but he went with it as soon as I spent my uh, elixir on that uh elect uh, on the elite barbs so not ideal not ideal by any means but we still are going to have an okay time here you want to know why because the barbarian barrel is actually clutch when going against the electro giant even if it doesn't kill things like it just killed the bomber you can distract a lot of units behind the electro giant while your other units take care of it so even though that was a pretty much full hp electro giant coming across the bridge we were able to take it down and our tower is still sitting at 2243 damage health whatever we are doing good basically that's what's going on right now the dark friends coming across the piggy will get a little bit more damage obviously on the left side there i believe the goblin brawler did some work to our tower so overall we definitely have taken a little bit more heat than him but we also haven't played it the best we've been playing a little bit aggressive here but you can see once you get more elixir with this deck it really becomes powerful because not only do you have the defensive answers but you also have the royal giant and mega minion combo and you also have the electro spirit the electro spirit can be massive when dealing with inferno dragons when dealing with other stuff that is taking down your royal giant it's a very strong deck overall obviously there's other ways to counter the Electro Giant, as you'll see in deck number two that we're going to showcase here today. But for battle number one, game number one, as you can see, man, it is so much fun to take this out. So you can see we go with a bunch of stuff in the back here. Elite Barbs are now right at the bridge. This Electro Giant is getting slammed. We do go with the Prediction Barbell, and we end up killing that Bomber, which is really clean. And right here, he's going to spam a whole bunch of stuff down, to be honest. We should have just gone for the Fireball here, but um, we wait a little bit, and then we Fireball everything. So it does end up all going down, but we don't get a ton of tower damage, even though we absolutely halted his push. It was a really excellent and well-done defense, but we don't manage to get a ton of that tower damage we're looking for yet, so we gotta be patient, right? This is okay. We know we have the answers. We know we have what it takes in order to take this man down. Now, I go with a little really aggressive RG Mega Minion here because we knew that he had the Inferno Dragon, but sadly, the Inferno Dragon still locks on, and we are not able to get any crazy good damage there. This is actually pretty problematic because now we have a Goblin Brawler in the right lane. I don't want to get too much damage off. The Elite Barbs and Electro Giant are all fighting it out on the left lane. We are uh, managing over there, obviously, but we are gonna take a couple hits. The Elite Barbs do 
do get distracted by that Dark Prince, and obviously on their left tower, things are looking a little crazy. He goes with an Electro Giant at the bridge, we go with the Royal Giant at the bridge, and at this point, this is all about just playing and knowing your deck. You have to trust yourself here. We go with a Fireball on the Infernal Dragon. We know if we do not take his tower right now, we are going to take L's on our left tower. So we go all in, the Skeletons with the RG there taking down the tower and that is an awesome match there and honestly like i said we did not even play that the best i mean the elite barbarians certainly should have been used way better and way more with that electro giant but we did get the job done nonetheless so shout out to that guy that was an awesome match for game number one now game number one we just watched the replan but we're also going to play a live match with this deck guys so we got to go and join a tournament obviously we did, we need our um card levels to be even Alrighty, we were trying to find games with a, against an electro giant player but since we could not do that we got a volunteer from the discord server shout out to this guy right above me dude you are an absolute legend so we're gonna be playing against him here and obviously it's electro giant versus our deck here today i believe he's using one of the ones with lightning and i'm sorry we couldn't find a match but literally i tried for like a half an hour not a single game against the electro giant and i don't want to sit here for an hour just for this video obviously we got time boys we're starting college soon so we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of this let's go all right goblin cage does come down we're gonna go ahead and go for a bit of an rg right here and honest obviously we're gonna go for the rg to make sure that he can walk left so then this inferno dragon does not destroy us interesting fireball extremely well played great nice play there bud but this is gonna be pretty interesting obviously we're gonna save up elixir to make sure we can deal with everything and this barbarian barrel here is going to be awesome so the barbarian barrel goes down we do not have any sort of electro spirit and cycle so we do have to go with the dark prince and that is not ideal but we are trying our best here in one times elixir obviously to just defend once you get the two times elixir you can really play super aggressive the really bad play we've done so far is obviously that royal giant onto that um well it wasn't really a bad play but the tornado on his end was an extremely good play so we're just gonna wait for a second obviously the bomber goes down where it's a pretty even match so far we're gonna go ahead and go with a skeleton army here we could obviously minion mega minion as well over the bridge but we are going to play this one a little bit slower and wait to see what he's got going on so we'll go ahead and go for our mega minion once this pops open easy mega minion will do the job here it'll take down the goblin brawler so the goblin brawler does fall easy mega minion value here and we are actually going to wait a second because i'm interested to see what this guy's got going on right we gotta wait to see what he's gonna play he goes for a nato there we're gonna go ahead and rg this and then go for a barbell and then go for our electro spear so the uh, inferno dragon does lock onto the barbarian which is really solid and then it sadly does retarget onto our real giant so we actually kind of played ourselves a little bit there but it should work out here it should work out so the dark prince will fight our dark prince obviously the shield will soak up a lot of that damage so the dark prince here from our end will be beautiful against this inferno dragon and if he goes for anything crazy here i mean we got answers he's going electro giant so we're gonna go ahead and rg this we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go for the barbarian barrel we have a mega minion we have a barbarian barrel we have an rg and if things get a little crazy here guys we can go ahead and electro spirit this so our royal giant can get as much value as possible we're gonna go ahead and immediately send some elite barbs here the reason why we're sending them early is so he cannot lightning whale hitting our tower and the elite barbs this will actually shut down the electro giant entirely as you can see the nato is enough to kill them but that is an entirely dead electro giant and it only gets one little swing beautiful stuff there guys we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go here with another push with the dark prince in the back and obviously we can roll giant we can barbell we can electro spirit there's no way for him to stop this push sadly we're gonna go ahead and rg this we're gonna go ahead and go with this and we can go ahead and mega minion the uh, inferno dragon keeps coming out in the same exact spots so if this electro giant hops that'll be huge it does and the dark prince actually manages to get through good game thank you very much for playing as you guys can see there not only are we defending extremely well but we're playing well on the aggression there with the electro spirit with the barbarian barrel and with that mega minion behind the rg makes it all possible while trying to take towers so thank you once again great for coming out we'll go ahead and get into our next deck and final deck of the day but overall you can see this deck absolutely crushes deck number two today the final one of the day is this pekka rg deck as you can see the rg guys it's awesome against the electro giant especially when you have answers against it and defensively the packet can be really strong with the fisherman with the dark prince and mega minion and these two decks are extremely similar but they definitely have a little bit of a different way of playing them and versatility obviously this deck is a little bit crazier because you got to make sure you have enough elixir for that pack obviously instead of just the elite barbarians and you have the fisherman which adds an entirely new element to this deck so it's a very fun deck overall in clash royale we're gonna have some fun with it today once again great awesome having you here today dude thank you once again for helping me out because it's seriously tough finding exactly that deck you want to face because as soon as you it seems like whenever you are not looking for a deck you see it every game but as soon as you start looking you already know you're never gonna be able to find that electro giant deck again so it's funny 
but once again dude thank you very much for helping out he's got once again the electro giant inferno dragon version it looks like let's go ahead and fisherman this here fisherman's gonna be great it'll be excellent actually and the fisherman and megamine will be able to take that out for us and we can go ahead and dark prince this um sadly the dark prince actually that's a really bad play because the dark prince does not get down in time leading to a completely fried dark prince here we're gonna we're gonna have to go for a fireball here guys we definitely need to go for a fireball or else this would be a lot of tower damage but luckily for us the fireball will take everything down let's go dude so if he goes um electro giant here i mean we just gotta be careful of that nato obviously but for the most part we should be all good and if that electro giant is causing us issues or yeah uh, I mean, what am I saying? No, it, the Electro Giant won't cause us too much issues against the P.E.K.K.A., but he might go for an Inferno Dragon right next to this Electro Giant, in which case we can go ahead and Mega Minion, we can Fireball it off, we can also Electro Spirit it off here. So we got options, we got things we can do. We're going to go ahead and go for a Fisherman here. That's actually a pretty unlucky Fisherman play with that Inferno Dragon there. So the P.E.K.K.A., is down it certainly will get its job and value in and as you can see this electro giant is defended flawlessly with no damage that is what we like to see we can also go ahead and mega minion this to try and take out this inferno dragon and save as much as our dark prince as possible which it actually looks like we will save a decent amount here the mega minions over the bridge we're gonna have to go ahead and log this dark prince back we don't want him getting any sort of shots off so we're playing this one smart we're playing not erring on the side of caution and as you can see guys once we get our rg down in two times elixir it's gonna be an awesome game here ahead of us so um, now that we're in two times elixir, obviously we'll have what much more elixir to work with. It'll certainly be an easier time. But we're gonna go ahead and Pekka. He might actually NATO this into the opposite lane. I would not be surprised. I've seen people do it before. Doesn't look like he's gonna go for that though. The Dark Prince is down. We're simply gonna cycle to make sure we have our Fireball, Electro Spear, and Mega Minion to help back us up here. So we're gonna go ahead and actually Fireball the Bomber and the Inferno Dragon. That is some awesome value for us. All of this is gonna get hit and taken down by the NATO. But the Pekka is going to be awesome, guys. And even if that were to sneak by the Pekka, you do have the Fisherman in. Here as a backup so it simply does really well against all this stuff let's go ahead and rg this this is actually really well played here because if this inferno dragon doesn't die soon we're simply going to get floored so this is a really good play on his part guys obviously our real giant on the right is going to do a couple bits of damage is it going to do enough though i don't really think it's going to do enough that we were really hoping for here his electro giant does much more damage there proving to be a super good well played push um, so we're gonna go ahead and try and get this pack a bunch of value our dark prince here is going to look like it might get on that tower The uh, goblin brawler does come out. We have a pekka moving up This is gonna be really intense guys and since he just went with the inferno dragon here I think what we do is we go for an rg this is gonna be tight If he has the elixir to get an electro giant down in front of this inferno dragon things are gonna get ugly But will he be able to that's the question? I don't think it's looking like he'll be able to we have to be really careful here guys because the log is going to come out We have to go dark prince the dark prince pulls everything in while the inferno dragons tanking we're gonna be able to actually take all that out and if he goes for an electro giant here we simply just pekka so we're looking okay even though this is actually a pretty close game because of that super good play on great's part we'll see if we can pull through even if we don't pull through i mean hey ggs to this guy well, let's go ahead and get a fisherman ready to go guys we also have our rg and cycle so if things get crazy we can certainly take it down but we're gonna go ahead and fireball we're gonna go ahead and log we do actually miss the dark prince because he started charging the nato there's gonna be good it's gonna allow him a little bit of damage um and then lightning does come down so really solid play there let's go ahead and get our rg down let's go ahead and get a dark prince down dark prince will be able to tank the uh mega minion here is going to be awesome the dark prince is tanking just for literally everything fisherman's going to come out we do manage to hit a log that is really valuable the nato is coming out as well we can go ahead and fireball this dark prince the rg does get an extra shot off there which is super helpful and we're going to keep the pressure high by going for another royal giant here it's pretty risky play but the mega minion will swipe on this bomber that'll ultimately take him down we're going to cycle to another electro spirit hopefully allowing this rg one more shot nope not going to get the last shot we're looking for but look at how much damage we've gotten just from the cycles we have to be really careful here though the fireball has to come out and the fisherman because that infernal dragon nearly takes tower the fisherman here is going to actually save the game really quick there and now this is still yet oh not over right this is pretty close the electro spirit almost gets the tower another lightning spell comes out and even though we completely counter him he does put up an excellent fight here and that is an insanely close game to end it off good game dude you played really well honestly shout out to you man that was a lot of fun but we are we were able to come out on top so 
I mean, we completely countered him, and we just were not playing well. The one play he had there was going Electro Giant at zero. When we had our uh, Royal Giant going down, we did not have much Elixir there. We overcommitted, and he actually caught us on that. So awesome game, dude. Thank you very much for coming out once again. And that was an awesome day. So this is the deck, obviously. It counters RG, or the Electro Giant. The Fisherman play there was absolutely sick, and it was a fun day overall. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe for more. Master JD san out.